Japan's new prime minister has said that the plant must dispose of waste water stored at Fukushima nuclear plant cannot be delayed. This despite growing concerns from local residents. Fumio Kishida paid his first visit to the site since he took office this month. He said the government would work to reassure residents about the technical safety of the wastewater disposal project. The Fukushima Daiichi plant suffered a triple meltdown in 2011. This came after a massive earthquake and tsunami. Kishida's tour focused on the ongoing decommissioning of the plant and the treated yet radioactive water stored there. Kishida said, and I quote, I feel strongly that the water issue is a crucial one that should not be pushed back. In April this year, the Japanese government and TEPCO announced that it will be releasing the radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean. This will be done in spring of 2023 over the span of decades. Fishermen have been fiercely criticizing the plan. Contaminated water continues to leak from the damaged reactor since the disaster. The water has been pumped up from basements. It is currently stored in 1,000 tanks. Operators say they will reach capacity late next year. Japanese officials say disposal of water is indispensable for the plant and for the plant cleanup. Its release into the Pacific Ocean is being viewed as most realistic option. Kishida has said that the government will do everything to address the concerns of protesters. He said in a quote. We will provide explanation about the safety from a scientific viewpoint and transparency in order to dispel various concerns. Japan has requested assistance by the International Atomic Energy Agency to ensure the discharge meets the global safety standard, including treating the wastewater so its radioactivity levels are below legal limits.